One thing I've learned rather early on, which served me well, was a very strong degree of skepticism. Because um, there are lots of measurements and lots of observations and lots of results, and um, a good portion of them are wrong, false, misleading, um, and shouldn't be taken too seriously. And one need, and this of course pertains not just to scientific results as published in papers or reported at conferences, but to every aspect of life. And uh, I feel the same kind of skepticism. Uh, this is not just you know, sort of emotional skepticism, but rational skepticism. I think one observation is that even if you look at an old-fashioned encyclopedia and you look at uh, you look at some historical event like a war, and then you look up the different countries' viewpoint. If you look up the same war in the history of country X and country Y, you find a very different description. So, if uh, people are brought up with an understanding that so the truth in this sense is uh, is relative, I think that's a good way of doing it. <laughs> that's one way of doing it. Uh, a, a position on these things, I don't take the skeptical uh, point of view. And I, th I think uh, I differ with most people here that I'm much more positive. I look for some truths and things, something interesting or new. I'm trying to focus on more and more truth uh, by successive approximations. So I don't do that by skepticism. So that's my own approach to research and uh, the news of the day. I'm looking for what I can uh, learn and find, and uh, so I'm focusing on some elements of truth, corroborating and develop, developing that. That's my own perspective in research and in the daily life.